Hi there, we are going to go to the Big Goodwill. This is the Goodwill that is located out on Route 30 or Lincoln Highway East. I refer to it as the Big Goodwill. I went around 12 o'clock on a day, a weekday, hoping it would not be crowded. It was crowded and it got a little crazy and we'll talk about that later. Here is the first end cap that I see when I walk into the hard goods section and it is covered with lighthouses and one clown figurine. The lighthouses were not of high quality, but they were super neat. It would be fun if you were gonna have a party. You could have a nautical theme party and these could be place settings. You could get them cheap enough. Fun fact, Jimmy and I got engaged at the lighthouse in Cape May, New Jersey. So lighthouses are special to us, especially the lighthouse at Cape May. <laughs> we've uh, traveled to Maine and we've gone to a lighthouse in Maine. That was pretty spectacular too. Here was an art project piece, very, very heavy. Wasn't quite sure what it was. They had the music going off and on, so you might hear some in-person commentary, but right now the music was playing, and so that is why I'm doing the voiceover here. I had not been to this Goodwill in probably a week and a half or so, and so everything was new to me and to you. It, look at this little kitty cat frame. <laughs> I thought that was funny. He looks a little annoyed that he's holding up that picture. And I was looking to see if there's any figurines, because I do love a figurine. There was a pretzel that you could put something in. I wasn't quite sure what this is. If you know what it is, please tell me. It was marked with a sticker made in China on the bottom, but I wasn't quite sure what you'd fill that with, unless it was a maybe an oil and vinegar set, but that doesn't really go with pretzels. That was loose, so I tightened it before I moved it on. You hear any sniffing? That is Susie. She has joined me for this voiceover. Oh, this is cute. This home. A gorilla. There's a towel holder. There's only one though. Look at this cat. That's funny. I like this guy. That's cute. Oh, they turned the music off. It's so nice. It's usually so loud in here. So crowded. I kind of like this guy. He's so silly. Let's put him in a cart. Okay. Oh, and the bracelets today are mine, and they're bake light. Let's see what's down here. Is this art? Is that a chili pepper? Is it a witch? Is it a bottle holder? Is it art? Is it art? I think it's art. There's a card holder. Can you put this on the back of your door? Wow, that's a really long card holder. I don't even know that many people <laughs> that they would send me Christmas cards. Let's see. That looks like a candle. And that's a butcher block. Turn the music back on. And we are winning. Fireman. Here's a box. What's in the box? What could be in the box? Candles. Candles are in the box. Alright, the music started again. Boo. Here's an Italian pitcher. Has a chip on it though. The chip right there. That is no good. Put that back. Let's see. Um. Wow, they're just kind of throwing things in there. That's a pretty cup. Put that up here. Oh, forget me not. interesting. She has a chip on her nose. $3.99. She looks very sad. Oh, these are very 80s. Look, oh, and you get a frame. You get two masks and a frame, a mystery frame for $9.99. That's very 80s reminding of me. What's in this bag? The irresistibly fun card game. Loot. Loot. I don't know that game. So far, we've only gotten a monkey. I think it's 
seen this before. That's a, she has a little chippy right there. Let's see over here. Oh, there's a turtle. I've sold this turtle before. Okay, Miley Cyrus uh, crash in the dark. She's gonna be playing, so you're gonna listen to me now. Uh, I have sold that turtle before. I kind of think it's from Dollar General, if I remember correctly. There was a little Sparky Award for a Sunday school camp or Sunday school itself. And I'm telling you, remember where I, when I found the lady head vase over there? Wouldn't it be nice to find another one? There was this mid-century modern-ish looking vase, but it had a big chip that was noticeable. So I left that there. And then this was kind of an interesting piece as well. I do, I do like that pink and gold. Very 50s, 60s, but that chip. And now we're looking over here to see if there's any hidden treasures. And let me know if you see any hidden treasures that I missed, because I'm sure I, I did miss something. Um, some more lighthouses over here. In the back, we have a baby boy playing tennis. This was given to somebody on August 1981. Super cute. It was made in Japan, but I don't think that was going to be very high seller. This it's perfect. It says nobody's perfect. And at first I thought that was a bug, but that's a butterfly. And the way that they engraved it or etched it, the wing is coming at you. And I have a growing Lucite resin, vintage resin collection. And I think I'm going to keep collecting it until it gets out of hand and then I will sell it all. <laughs> this was super pretty as well. It has some information on the back that this belonged to Doris. It's from August of 2010. Very, very pretty. But... That's just what it is. It's very pretty, but I didn't think anyone's like, oh, I hope she gets that. Here they bundled this glass thing with these two little glass snifters, I would guess you would call that. And then this looked like a Hershey Kiss to me, but it was chipped. And inside it did say gold Hershey Kiss candy jar, but one of the ribbons right there was chipped. So that is why that is still there. Let's stay in. Let's go out. Which team are you? I am team Let's Stay In. And every once in a while, let's go out. A little, oh, they took the music off again. I wonder if they're having problems with their cash register. Because I know another store I go to, the music turns off whenever they're um, using the cash register. Which is kind of nice. Oh, what's this? What's this puppy dog? $2.99. Oh, it's not a puppy dog. That's a sheep. He has a chip. Where did I see the chip? Oh, he has a chip on the inside right there. That's kind of cute. <laughs> Two ninety nine. That looks like Tanara. Yeah. We'll think about it. We'll think about it. Oh, there's a frog. A broken frog. He's missing his leg. $1.99. Poor little guy. And we have a wooden giraffe for $2.99. She's an old lady. She's broken off here. $2.99 on her. I don't see any Spoon rest. Spoon rest. And it's tipped right there. A bunch of egg cups. $2.99. They're, they're British eggs. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, community aid. That's another thrift store. These are a good, um, good brand of pencil. $2.99. That's a good pencil brand. Teachers like it. We also like Crayola crayons. Oh, 
is M.A. Hadley. Well, M.A. Hadley, Mark. The end. Look at that. Alright, another one goes here. I can't see. Let's see. Is there another M.A. Hadley, Mark? You got one. Did you get another one? This is cool. Oh, it's a souvenir of Columbia, South Carolina. That's old. It has a chip. It has a chip right there. Pennsylvania Renaissance Fair. That's only $2.99. I might look that up. I bet that was expensive. That's neat looking. And here is um beeswax. $1.99. It doesn't smell. Okay, so. If it was Deneen pottery, I probably would pick it up, but um, it's not marked. So I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to leave it right here. Wait. Let's see. Right here. What's this? Oh, okay. That's contemporary. Okay. Right there. Okay. So pretty. Studio Nova Garden Bloom. That's pretty. And all the coffee cups. It's very springy. What's back here? These are only $1.99. Ooh, that's a mark. That's a secret. You don't know who makes them. But there's plates back here. And they bundle the plates. All of these for $2.99. Because they're unmarked. That's a good deal though. If you need a whole bunch of green plates. So pretty too. It's a pink, a nice pink color. Like that. Uh, let's see what else is here. Oh, look at these. These are cute. Little glasses, $2.99. Look how sweet those are. I kind of like those. I don't know who makes them. Cute though. You can put those in there. And then there's something back here. I think it's just a uh, shot glass. It is. It says another knockout. <laughs> Dollar ninety-nine. Put that up here. Um anything else back there that looks interesting? Oh that's glass. Glass bowl in a glass bowl. Um let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I don't really show you anything else it's hard to do. This makes me dizzy. That glass would make me dizzy if I had a drink out of it. Mm. This is interesting. Oh, it's a coffee. Coffee thing. Another plastic. Mm. I don't see anything else. It's um, a Van shoe, but it's a USB plug. So I might look that up. That's kind of cute. This was neat looking. It's a glass head. For $6.99. I think that's pretty neat. They kind of shoved everything down there. <laughs> Gotta be careful. I have to rearrange here. There we go. Taking stuff out, new inventory, and people are literally running for it and grabbing it off the shelf and pushing my cart out of the way. I hate it here sometimes. But it's the biggest one, so you have to go. It's not always like this. But they're being crazy, like literally running after the guy who's restocking stuff. Here is the Fitz and Floyd shell. That's cute. But it does have a chip right here. I'd rather wait till they're done jumping all over the carts and see what's left, but it's silliness. Right, I'm avoiding the people now. Here is a Hawaiian ashtray for $1.99. says Hawaii. Nothing too wild. Here's a hook. Here's a little homo. For $2.99. He does have a little chip there on the base. 
Let's see which one he is. It's an exclusive special edition number four for members of the Global Collectors Club. It looks like it's from 1980. He's very sweet. I think I will look him up. He's um, Osis Plastic. I thought it was one of the harder trays. The party tray for summertime. Oh, that's for your toilet. And this is for your dog. Kind of funny looking. <laughs> the tomato shaped pot. It says caution hot. If it's for making tomatoes. And here are some hobbyist Halloween things. I don't, they don't really have a seasonal aisle right now. It was Christmas there for a while. Um, but not right now. Cookie cutters over here in the frame. $2.99 for all of those. I'm not very interested in selling cookie cutters. Here's some blank canvases. For $1.99. That's fun. That seems very cheap. And uh, there's that. <laughs> I don't know that. That's kind of fun. Those. Jenny doesn't really paint anymore. When she was little, she used to paint, but now she um, she doesn't. So she likes drawing on her iPad, which I don't blame her. Yeah. It's a very long painting there. Let's see anything in the art. They turned the music off, so I'm taking advantage. Uh, I knew the resellers in here like to get their stuff, but I didn't realize they chased after the restockers. I would think that they would put a kibosh to that and say, you're not allowed to do that, but no one is stopping them, so they're doing it. And then they're pu they push my cart out of the way when I was just walking by, which I found kind of rude. But, uh, to each their own. Here's a planner. It's made in Japan. That's neat. And then look, there's... Have to make a bunny rabbit. And somebody was... Started project, everything included. To make something else. Here's some bead storage boxes. That seems like a good deal. Interesting there. Nobody wants anything off this... Oh, look, there's a hamburger. A Squishmallow hamburger. <laughs> That's kind of funny. And look, here's a dressing form for only $15. See, they're just waiting. They're waiting for the carts to come out. In the meantime, I found this bingo ashtray by Lego Korea, which is pretty fun. cool. It's dirty. It's from 1984. It's $5. It's a little bit too much, but I can still enjoy how cute it is. They turned the music off again. It's a small miracle. Let's see. Those are greeting cards. Oh, look. <laughs> Hanging candelabra. Oh. Hanging candelabra. Indoor use. Oh, it's a cat. It's a cat hanging candelabra. Interesting. I'm going to see if I can film it when he gets the card to come out. It's like mayhem. It's mayhem in here. Aw, that's cute. Who's this old guy? That's cute. Let's buy somebody's card. Come push my card out of the way. Let's see. I usually don't look in the toys, but uh, I want to. I want to see. I want to see how they act crazy again. See how people react. It's so silly. I saw a guy run past the cart and he grabbed a toy. Grabbed a toy right off the cart. So we'll be looking. <laughs> That's why we're stuck in the toys right now, waiting for people to be silly again. Mm. 
they break, so I'm not sure what that is. I remember when I was teaching and a girl came in because she and her hair was usually like past her shoulders and it was um, to her shoulders. She had had to get a haircut because she got those stuck in her hair. Oh, those are stickers. Stickers for your wall. And these are embroidery, like to transfer embroidery. And that's a mask. Looking doll. Rubbery. Hmm. It's not going over here in the pots and pans. Look. Look at that. $4.99. There are no chippers on you? There are no chippers on you. You almost walked right past it. I did not see it earlier. Look right here. Hmm. I think I'll look it up. So I have another one that's a little bit smaller. I think I'll look it up. See how people are following him? See? And then you can't get near it, and then they push you out of the way. Anyway, I'm going to um, put this back because it has a chip. And then I'm going to wait for them to um, finish feeding over there, and then I'm going to go look. That's a cute turkey. $3.99. I like his shock expression. Any tips? He's like a oh, Japan. I like this. And they're still, they're, oh, they're still circling. Whoa, look at this big platter. That's ginormous. Look at this little thing. That's cute. These are neat looking. What does that say? Patent. Oh, oh they're missing some of the little duty dads. They're missing some of the duty dad things. <sighs> this is cute. This it's cute because it, it feels like it's paper and it says that on it and then it has this little tag and then it's Demodico and or Demdaco and I have sold that um, the angels with this brand but that's so cute I like how it's paper very very sweet and then this little look they're all having hot chocolate that's Kay's collection. So I mean, that's from the Dollar Tree. And then look, here's a little Avon bag from 2002. And that's for Matthew. That's a cleaning thing through the microwave. What's this lady doing? She's making pie and she has a dog. And here's an old um, uh, toothpick holder, but look, it is chippy, 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 chippy. It has been around a while. It has heard some stories. Oh, and here's another one. Look. They're the opposite. They're twins. The dads are twins. Let's see. Angel. Oh, this is a really dirty... Is this Boyd's Bear? This is super dirty. Well, I'm tempted to get that and clean it up, but I won't. No, that is not Boyd's Bear's. That is not. It is not. It is not. Okay, we already saw that side. Um, what's in this? What is this? Oh, what are these? They are. They're like balls of people. I mean, what is that? I'm a little confused. They look like they're balls of people that are carved bending over. Like they're, they're, like they're sitting crisscross with their head in their lap, which is interesting. There's 
Avon. That's Avon. Speaking of Avon. Here. Oh, that's cute. Is that Hallmark? That is Hallmark. <laughs> that's cute. The little mummy ornament. And then there's these animals up here. Oh, it went on something. Let's see. Um, looking over here. I'm kind of looking in places I normally don't look. Taking advantage of the music and not screaming in the background. A little bit of a longer shopping trip than I'm used to taking. Why is this sign? Hmm, somebody got that autograph by somebody. It's a Southwestern Pottery Bell with a road runner on it. $2.99 has a lot of surface wear. Gaudy. I think I've sold that before. If it wasn't all marked up, that's hard to clean up sometimes. So I'll leave it for somebody else who just gonna put out in their back porch and listen our neighbor has a ton of wind chimes and they always sound very pretty oh, oh look these are great kids books Jenny had a whole bunch of these kids books let's see if there's oh and this is another good book I used to read this to my kindergartners because it's very you know repetitive and then they can you know quote unquote read they can read it to you with you another good book Jenny had this as a big a big book and it, um, it flips up. These things like, where is baby's mouth? Oh, Jenny had this book. That's another good book. The big green thing. That's an old book. It's an easy reader. What is this year from? Let's see, the 70s? No, 1963. Oh, something was in the sky. A frog, maybe, or a caterpillar? Some? Oh, a kite. I bet it was a kite. Spoiler alert. Here's some other good books. These Mo Williams books. Okay. Elephant and Peggy. That's a great deal. All of those are good. Let's see. What else? Cruise ports of Alaska. Everybody missed this. That's amazing. <laughs> There's a bird tail. This is better. I forgot to put this in the last video when I went to Salvation Army. I did end up getting this vase. I forgot to add it to the hall. And there is the signature on the bottom. All right. Put that back with not breaking it. Let me show you what I got today. This was the first thing that you saw me pick up. And this is the gorilla all cleaned up. I still think this is really cool. Very mid-century modern. There's no maker on it. I mean, come on. You know you know somebody that needs that if you don't need it yourself. I got this M.A. Hadley mug. You can always tell it's M.A. Hadley because it's very childlike, the drawings on it, and they are always signed M.A. Hadley, and there's always usually something inside or on the, if it's a trinket dish, it'll be in the middle. Um, that looks like there's a little manufacturer flaw by the period there, but uh, I'm not sure it's going to be a big, huge seller, but it, I like M.A. Hadley things, and that's why I picked this up. I have a growing collection of Lucite items. I did not have this. I thought it was super cool with the three-dimensional butterfly there, the texture on the cat, and it is in very good shape for its age and what the material is made out of. What it's made out of. You know what I mean. I turned the light on in case it was too dark. This is the little lamb. At first I thought it was a dog, but um, it might still be a dog. It might be a poodle, or it could be a lamb, or it could be a lamb dog. Not quite sure. I think it's cute. I think it looks like Tanala. It is not marked Tanala in any way. Uh, it would be really super cute with a little light in there, all lit up, and then the stars would be on the walls in your house from the reflection of it. <laughs> Let me look at that face. Super cute. I did end up getting the Hummel. I thought it was super cute with the little gingerbread uh, cookie under his arm. And then this piece I had never seen before. I liked how the gold paint was kind of worn in places. It's in very good shape. It is marked made in Japan. There are no chips to it. I was a little worried that this was missing the handle on the side, but I don't believe it is because it, you can still feel the glaze. And this is a USB charger for something. <laughs> Um, I figured with a $3 buy-in, it might sell for 20 
even without the cords. And like Jimmy said, that looks pretty cool. Here are the little aperitif glasses. I think they're little shot glasses or aperitif glasses. I'm not sure. They have a little etched design in them. The green does not glow. None of them glow. I'm going to hold it up to the paper so you can really see the true color of what they are, what they look like. This is a pink, pink one and the darker blue. If you know who makes these, that would be a great help. You could put the your answer in the comment below. This was on the cart during the feeding frenzy that nobody wanted. It is glass. Or if it's not glass, it's porcelain. I kind of think it's glass though. It's uh, black glass, I'm gonna say, until I hear otherwise. <laughs> um, I had to because I just had to. And this was the last thing I picked up. This was a no-brainer as well. It makes it even better. He is missing the eyeball. This can hold lots of fun things. Here's the back. And it is felted on the bottom. It's still a little damp because I did wash it. I think this is amazing. I hope you enjoyed this video and are having a great of a day as these two knuckleheads are. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Take care. And I'll see ya.